Hey everyone, welcome back again to Automation. This week I thought I would go off the rails a little bit because uh, that's what I like to do <laughs> on this channel. I like to mess around and make stupid cars and also in this case shoes because today I'm going to be making a shoe. In fact, I'm going to be making the shoes that I wear, which are Vans skate shoes uh, because I was born in the 90s. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, I've always been somebody who liked skateboarding, I, even though I'm not good at it, and uh, I always wanted to be a good skater, so I have always had this sort of style, and it continues on today, and it will probably never stop. As long as they keep making shoes like this, I will keep wearing them. So I figured today, let's make a Vans shoe. Before we get too far into this, it's time for a uh, sponsor. Uh, every video is sponsored by me and my merch store. If you want to get a Buku sticker, which will probably not stick well to your shoe, so I would not advise it, but it's perfect for your car, your laptop, or whatever. Uh, in time for the holidays, you can purchase one here at my website, automotiveflux.com, and yeah, they hold up good. This is what it looks like on my car after being there for like a year. <laughs> in the sun as well, and no problems, so it's good stuff. Okay, so obviously there's no shoe car body, uh, so I'm gonna have to make something custom. Well, actually, I'm not even sure that it's obvious that there isn't a shoe car body. There might be one. <laughs> Let me go through this first. Okay, I was a little worried there was a BMW clown shoe body, but thankfully there isn't. Although, actually, maybe there should be, but today we don't really need that. Instead, we just need a car that's long and thin. Uh, and hopefully we can make it a little bit thinner if that's not going to work. So some experimentation is necessary, as I have not prepared myself yet for this, and we will definitely have to hide the chassis in BeamNG. Okay, that took a while, but I kind of found the body I'm looking for. Uh, it's not ideal necessarily, but this is the one that's going to work in terms of the width and also the length, because most car bodies seem to be about 1.5 meters, and this one is 1.2, and it's also 2.9 meters long. Uh, so if we put the body back on, hide the chassis, you can kind of get a glimpse of what this looks like. So for the purposes of this build, not much really matters except for the style. So everything here, I'm just going to skip through super quick, just putting on really light stuff because I feel like I want this shoe to be able to run fast. With the engine, it's the same thing. I don't particularly care as long as it's in there somewhere. Uh, we should be fine. I believe we're stuck with mid, so it's going to be mid transverse and uh, I guess inline four, rear wheel drive, whatever works. All right, so I just very quickly made a high compression four cylinder, a two liter square engine with no mods, it's 8686, so yeah, very, very square, but that's okay. It's a overhead cam, five valve, uh, just light stuff, nice and easy. And I think that'll be a decent amount of power to keep this thing going. But what I wanna do is hide as much of it as we can. So I'm gonna paint this stuff black to fit in. Uh, so hopefully it actually fits in. All right, on to the fixtures. So what we need to do is uh, make it so that as much of this body is gonna disappear on its own so I don't have to hide that in BeamNG. Uh, the basic idea is we need uh, transparent paint. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Nice and easy, just paint it transparent and then it will go away. Unfortunately, it seems like two pieces of the body will not go away. Uh, for whatever reason, they are not colorable. Possibly their convertible top or something because uh, yeah, they won't go away unless I do this. So hopefully the shoe itself covers those. If not, it's gonna look a little bit jank in BeamNG. Okay, so here comes the fun part or I guess the difficult part because obviously this is all custom so I need to make it entirely out of pieces <laughs> from the 3D modeling and other areas here. I mean, the good news is that there are a lot of options. Uh, the developers have added a lot of stuff for us to play with, and I intend to use a bunch of it. But before I do that, I just want to go ahead and uh, just kind of slap on some really quick stuff here. Because I want to get these to be a little bit wider and out of the way, I'm hoping that the wheels will be on the outside of the shoe, but I guess worst case we could put them on the inside. That might be a little bit weird though. <laughs> Okay, so the game crashed on me, which uh, is an indication that it disproves of my current uh, workings, 
but that's fine. <laughs> we'll just continue without it. Oh wait, I can't. Um, anyway, so the plan is to build up the shoe in layers, at least the bottom part of it, uh, because it's important that I get this right. And uh, yeah, we also need to do a bottom for it as well. So let's lay out the basis of what the shoe is going to be, and then we'll work on the rest. So admittedly, this is going to be weird no matter what I do, but I've kind of decided that I'm going to just accept the weirdness and move on. <laughs> uh, okay, so the bottom piece of these shoes is rubber, and then the upper area is like a canvas. Uh, so my plan is that we either use soft top or cloth for the top, and then the bottom I'm not totally sure about. Um, maybe plastic would have the right look for us. We, we need to get it with a little bit of texture. Actually, it might be wrinkle paint that'll give us the best look, but uh, in this case, it's going to be white. Man, I wish that I could askew it a little bit, but <laughs> the shoe is going to be a uh, unifoot shoe, I guess. It won't be a right or a left, um, because I don't know if I can make that work. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I've officially made an egg. Oh, wow, would you look at that? It looks like a a surfboard. <laughs> that's that's about all I've got so far. Uh, it has a slight taper in the middle. It's supposed to, at least, uh, but it's not ideal. Now, <laughs> these shoes have a hexagonal pattern on the bottom of them, but in order to replicate that, I think I may just put a patterned piece on the bottom instead, because I really don't want to make that and it's also not going to be seen. I'm going to try and focus more on the top end of things and yes, this is going to take a while. <laughs> As you can tell, things are already going interestingly. <laughs> Basically, the gist of my idea now is to continue to raise these layers up and then uh, have them taper out as well, because it does a little bit at the front, kind of comes up on an angle. Uh, not that drastic an angle though. Okay, so that's my recreation of the uh, waffle thing underneath <laughs> it's horrible but uh it is at least there so we can leave a footprint uh theoretically it does stick out from the bottom it should be up in there but that's not possible with these fixtures so you get what you get with this one at this point i should probably just get into real 3d modeling make my own bodies in blender and then export them into beamng but i kind of I don't know. I like messing around with stuff that has limitations. <laughs> Plus, I have no idea how to 3D model. At least not yet. Just wait till that happens. Okay, so it's time to finish off the soul. As you can tell, there is no soul left in me or this, uh, which means that we're just going to raise this up and continue to do so for several levels until we get where I want to be. And now on this one, I'm going to tilt it slightly forwards and bring it... Actually, I don't want to bring it forwards it'll just be tilted <laughs> and then this one comes up and hopefully you can match with that with a little bit of extending perhaps okay so the soul is looking a little bit more soulful and a lot more bent which is a good start but if something important needs to happen now i'm gonna go up and i have to make my own paint uh, another new one this one is going to be wrinkle paint as well except it's going to be black and uh We'll make that much thinner because the car needs a, well, sorry, the shoe needs a black layer and then a small white one on top. I've just now realized that this thing is going to be absolutely massive if I continue with this height. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> only one way to go now, and that's up. Okay, so scale aside, uh, we have a base for a shoe. Now, the part that I'm, oh wow, I just realized something. This is supposed to be pointing upwards, but instead it is pointing down. <laughs> okay, that looks better. Um, <laughs> consider that fixed. I basically just added another layer and uh, it's real jank, but it works. All right, now um, something I was just thinking about, this should probably be shrunk down a little bit. And uh, I, I guess I can just make these kind of adjustments as I go. But for now, uh, that'll have to do. It does just kind of look like a boat, but it's a good boat. Okay, so these next parts are the ones that I was most worried about because I can't just solve them by adding a bunch of layers like I did in this case, and uh, that's going to make them interesting because now it's time to make the canvas part of the shoe, and it's going to have to be quite tall, I think. 
Otherwise, this would end up being a stiletto, and that's not really what I'm after. <laughs> okay, good news. We do have some pieces that should work for this. I kind of wish that they were hollow on the inside, but maybe we can find something that works as well. But yeah, these might be able to do it. Oh yeah, out of curiosity, I just want to add back some of the bits. Uh, the body looks like we're going to be... Oh, yeah, the thing is going to stick out no matter what there. So that's just unfortunate, but... Uh, the engine, oh, the engine's basically hidden, okay, because the engine will be showing in BeamNG, so yeah, the only thing I could have done there was lower it, but I kind of didn't want to, yeah, I feel like it's fine where it is. And the suspension, we could probably just leave the suspension on, because uh, it is hidden, so that'll be fine. Okay, so the color of the shoe is going to be a... Uh, black color because my shoes are black. I also have red ones, but uh, black is the ones I wear every day, so I figure that'll work out well for us. The stitching and stuff is going to be difficult. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to add that detail. I will try though, um, but for now it's just going to be this and uh, making the structure of the shoe and somehow making it white on the inside. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be the tricky part. Oh man, I feel like I'm making a shoe in roll blocks. That is just way too bumpy. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll have to find something else. You know what? The solution has been staring me in the face this entire time, and that is uh, just just use the same bricks that I've been using. I shouldn't say bricks. <laughs> uh, just use the same pieces I've been using, and uh, hopefully they'll work. For now, at least. I'll have to figure out a way to make an open top with them or with other pieces, but for now, uh, this is that. I am absolutely on to something right now. <laughs> I've just figured out that uh, I can use the uh, tubular shapes here to try and fill in some of the gaps that I've got. And uh, by some, I mean a, a lot of gaps because I have a lot of gaps, but <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, for now, what I'm attempting to do is just make this work. Uh, all I want to do is fit this stuff in here and then kind of get the shoe shape at the back filled out afterwards because that's the part I was struggling with before. Sometimes it pays to just mess around, uh, and that's what I'm doing. Okay, so remember when I said I was making a shoe? Um, apparently I lied completely because I'm making modern art here. Uh, this is a beautiful art piece, and I've also added the Vans square to the back. Uh, just pretend that you didn't see that. But uh, yeah, beautiful art piece. Don't question it. Don't look at it too closely. Uh, I don't know what's going on on this side and why it isn't happening on this side, but this is its good side, okay? This is the good side. This is a new kind of van shoe. It's called the uh, Impossible Shoe. Totally not wearable, and that's the point. Uh, a little bit too exclusive for you and I, and that's why we've never seen one before, but... Oh yeah, trust me, they exist. Oh my goodness, I've done it! It looks like a shoe! <laughs> yes! Okay, there's a lot of details to smooth out here, but... Uh, yeah, it also doesn't have a tongue. <laughs> I should probably fix that. Yes, the shoe. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. So the sides are still a little bit rickety, but I think I can fix that through the power of uh, covering it up. <laughs> I tried to make it a little bit more interesting there, but it just wasn't working out. Um, that's why there's so many layers and random pieces of things, and it, it just doesn't look good. So this is a custom shoe design, just roughly based on an existing Vans design. Uh, because I failed at my original goal, and hopefully this will do a little bit of good here. Okay, the more I add to the side, the worse it gets, so I'm just gonna leave that and just pretend that that's part of the design. Um, so I know that the base is way too high, I could probably lose an entire layer actually. Uh, just taking a quick look, because we can do that. Yeah, we should probably lose a whole layer. <laughs> Man, ah. Uh, well, the only way to do that would be to take it off the bottom, and uh, I guess I could go and do that. Just gotta raise up the whole bottom pieces. It'll look a little bit awkward if I do that, or if I don't. <laughs> Either way, it's awkward. <laughs> okay, so the bottom cut is real. That actually has happened. Uh, that means the engine sticks out a little bit, and my square is too big, but uh, other than that, we're pretty much good. I think that that overall is a positive change. Um, something that we can do potentially to fix that is uh, skip ahead a little bit again. Just quickly slap on some brakes. I don't know. It needs to stop. 
somehow. This is the weirdest roller skate ever made. But uh, if I just skip through all this stuff, we can adjust the suspension. As you can see, the shoe can come up and the shoe can come down. And in this case, I want it a little bit more down. Um, so yeah, there we go. A little bit more aggressive a stance, but that's what we're going to have to deal with. And uh, oh my goodness, it's got some issues. <laughs> we'll have to tune that stuff out. But for now, we'll just ignore it. <laughs> Okay, I'm not totally done with the design, don't worry, because, uh, yeah, this thing needs laces. And it also needs some sort of design on there, hopefully white stitching will be enough. And, uh, yeah, some smoothing out, generally, of the components would be good as well. It is really jank, and I am not, um, well, I know it's jank, is what I'm trying to say. I know that it's bad. <laughs> That's just part of the fun. All right, laces. Let's see if I can do something with this. Okay, so the laces on this shoe uh, that I'm creating here don't actually start until about, uh, well, higher up on the shoe, basically. There's a bit of a line here, so that's sort of where I'm going to be starting things. And uh, yeah, we'll see if I can't just put a piece here kind of line these up. There are 10 total, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that's what the laces look like, nice and easy. That's actually, well, that's without the lace itself. Um, the lace itself, I think I'm gonna have to use pipes. Uh, I'll try to make it cross over, but we'll see how this is gonna look. Um, again, trying my best here with what I have. So I wanted the laces to have a little bit of depth, and you can see that I've kind of got that going on there. Uh, this is an exhaust pipe piece, <laughs> and it's actually working pretty darn well for this. Really well, actually. That is surprisingly great. Uh, more laces to come, I guess. Now, laces don't actually make any sense because this is all one piece. Essentially, it's a big slip-on shoe, but at the same time, I really want to add that style, so that, that's what I'm going for. I don't think it takes that much effort to do, so... Well, that being said, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay, we have laces. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Uh, that took a while, but, uh, well, relatively speaking, not that long, and I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, the only thing, again, that's really missing is the fact that it should really be two pieces, uh, but this shoe has room for improvement, there's no doubt about that. Um, but I think it looks pretty decent, just as is. Now, before I go too far, uh, let me just add a couple of small things. The whole piece here is kind of dead looking, so I'm just going to fill it. Um, it's not going to look great, but I will tr just have something there. I think is probably a better option. Okay, now comes the other more harrowing part. Uh, somehow I need to add the white stitching um, to this shoe, which is, well, <laughs> the most ridiculously difficult part. We'll see how this goes or if I can even get it right, but uh, I'm going to at least try some. Okay, for some reason I just thought of this, but I can totally just put a gigantic robot foot inside of my custom-made shoe and then just say like, hey, he's got the drip. <laughs> oh my goodness, it actually works. <laughs> oh no, I um, I may or may not export it to BeamNG like this. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so here's my proposal for the stitching. Uh, basically, small ticks like this are uh, <laughs> the best thing that I can do. I just have to find a spot for it, mirror it obviously, because it's the same on both sides and uh, then place it how I want it. But <laughs> that's easier said than done, uh, mostly because it's floating at the moment. <laughs> it doesn't conform to this body, so unfortunately, every single one has to be individually placed. And that means that I'm not going to be doing it <laughs> because that is just way, way, way too much. However, um, <laughs> this is uh, something I need to save right now because <laughs> I'm very, very proud of myself, at least in some way. Uh, the shoe has come together. It has literally been uh, almost two hours <laughs> to make this, but uh, it's been worth it. So let's take it into the photo scene, and I'll do a little bit with it, and then we'll head into BeamNG Drive just for fun to drive the shoe around. All right, so this is what it looks like in the design room. I had this idea where I was going to uh, put another one of these over here, and then I realized that I'm going to have to make a version of it without the <laughs> guy in order for that to work. Um, but 
I'm probably gonna do that just for the thumbnail. <laughs> it looks creepy as heck seeing this guy way up here. But the shoe car, man oh man was this a good idea. <laughs> it looks really good. Uh, it has some baller rims on it now. I mean, I tried to make it look a little bit more interesting. Um, <laughs> that's just what I do. Uh, and then if we turn that all the way up, we can be in focus all the time. And it's really strange. Very, very strange indeed. <laughs> is this automation or is this something else? Alright, let's take a look in BeamNG Drive. Hey everyone, it's a new day and we're here in BeamNG. Uh, and this is what the shoe looks like. <laughs> I'm going to be very careful not to spoil anything for you. But uh, here is the shoe and all of its very shiny oops, there's a spoiler, glory, uh, in BeamNG. Uh, this is the version without the giant pink guy, as you saw, he is over there. And it's a little bit, um, well, <laughs> it's a little bit burnout happy. Uh, and the texture is very weird on the back as well. I did add my own logo on there and I forgot to put an exhaust pipe so that's hanging out kind of low but other than that it's actually pretty reasonably quick and for a shoe it's not a bad car. This engine is a bit of a banger and I'm very happy that I made it and uh, took a little bit of time to tune it because it's shockingly fast but the fun part isn't with the bare shoe it's with the occupant of the shoe, which you shall see soon. So this is what the shoe looks like with a foot in it, and this has given me an excellent idea. Don't you steal this idea. Actually, go ahead and steal it, it's fine. But uh, I'm gonna make a skateboard at some point. I, I just have to make a skateboard at some point because this idea works way too well because this guy's just wearing a roller skate now, and wait a minute, let me get moving. Um, it's like we're controlling some like giant guy with a single roller skate and the best part is when we go over a ramp or something he goes too <laughs> all right half pipe show me what you got again this car has a decent amount of speed oh yes <laughs> stunts let's go and then well obviously down we go as well this was not made for landing <laughs> Oh, it's too good. But that's not all we can do. We can do some smaller stunts and get away with it, hopefully, as long as I can line them up. Uh, just little bumps and stuff here and there. And then, oh, it's real, real slippery once again. This car needs thicker back wheels or a better driver. Um, or ESC, actually. Maybe I should have added that so it's actually drivable. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Just the little tricks here and there make this really fun. And this is kind of why I was thinking about... Oh, he almost face planted. Um, <laughs> this is why I was thinking about doing a skateboard build because we could legit like use some of these ramps and the half pipe and stuff and try to skate the car <laughs> on the half pipe. I don't know if anybody's done something like this before. I had, I don't think I've seen it, but man, it's such a good idea. I don't know why I thought of it earlier. Okay, so our car is overheating, which means it's time to take it out to pasture and uh, I should probably slow down a little bit because it's not, uh, holding itself together very well at the moment. Uh oh, engine issues. Let's get into the water and cool ourselves off. Deep down in there. Actually, that's a shallow end. <laughs> Come on. It's not like it matters anyway. We're not gonna be able to escape this. But yeah, this track is pretty much perfect for this, uh, or map, I should say, because there's just all these hazards everywhere. Now, what I could do theoretically is make a skateboard and then give it just like gigantic wheels or, or get a body that has gigantic wheels and use that because uh, that'll let me go off road <laughs> at least a little bit better than something like this can. And he just face planted into a wall. Come on. <laughs> I'm just trying to get over to the other side of the map. Just let me have this, please, game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I feel like with this uh, new gigantic guy that we have, that you can do a lot. Like, I've seen people make Gundam figures before, which is cool, but you could theoretically dress this guy up in armor, I guess, if you really wanted to, and, <laughs> and then stick him in your car shoe and drive him around a map like this, because why not? <laughs> oh, as long as the shoe doesn't get damaged, we're good. <laughs> oh, man, this is too good. Well, I'm going to just take this guy completely clean off. It's actually too bad that he doesn't have any physics, because... Uh, it would be really funny if I could just knock his head off or something here, but obviously I can't, and it just does this. 
Uh, other thing, Vans, if you want to sponsor me, I'm down. Uh, any skateboard brands you want to sponsor me, I'm down. <laughs> oh yeah, just let me know. Okay, let's attempt a difficult climb. This thing has no uh, provision for off-road or anything for that matter. <laughs> but, oh, decent. Next one. Oh, okay. Apparently it's still very, very glitchy. And then if we attempt to drive it while the shoe is on the ground, it's, it drives exactly the same as the other shoe, uh, except it has, well, theoretically it has a lot of upward weight, but it doesn't actually matter in this game from what I can tell. Uh, oh, let's do a drag pass. Yes. All right, I'm not actually going to time this. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, shall we go ahead and do a pass on the drag strip from past the line, rev it up, and oh we actually have traction hooking up it looks really slow when you're this high up but it is moving i mean it's doing 200 kilometers an hour at this point come on oh lovely full speed in the shoe is like 300 something maybe or more possibly actually we're running out of gears here uh this might be a five speed though <laughs> we might be able to do a little bit more however it's these acrobatic uh feats that really get me interested and also knocking this guy's head off on the bridge and not really being able to see where anything is because I'm so far zoomed out and having it do that. Well, this video has been long as heck, at least to record. Hopefully I can get it down for you to be a little bit more concise. But let me know what you thought of the Vans shoe and the gigantic pink guy that's inside of it in the uh, comments down below. You'll notice that I kept the chassis even though I said I was going to get rid of it, and that's because it's really not as obtrusive as I thought it would be. This was a good pick, uh, this being an F1 car now becoming a shoe. <laughs> I didn't really think about that, that's a bit of clickbait there, isn't it? <laughs> oh no, this is Lando Norris's shoe, that's what it is. Oh, never mind. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this glorified masterpiece in the uh, comment section below. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. And again, check out my website, automotiveflux.com, if you're interested in the stickers that I have or any of the other things that I've mentioned, because there are links to my Discord, my Twitter, my Twitch, my, uh, well, Twitch is unused, and also my, uh, well, other socials if I ever make any more on that site. So check it out. And for now, I bid you a shoe. And yes, I am gonna attempt to jump one of these things really quick here. Let's go 60 degrees, come on. Give it all you got. Up. Oh, oh, come on. Red Bull signed me up. Come on, it's gonna make it. Oh, almost lived. <laughs> almost. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you to those who have chosen to support this channel, specifically those who are advanced supporters, and I have pledged to say their name in every single automation video because that's what I like to do. I just want to show my thanks to them for uh, continually supporting me, some of them for two years, Overlord, and then further than that, Evictus, 26 months according to YouTube. That's insane. I appreciate you guys a lot. So we have Overlord, QT Bear, Terry Williams, GA Pope, Davis Hester, The German Dude, Mickey K1, Sleep64, Childish Sin, Jug, Antisocial, and Jared. Thank you guys for your support. I'll see you again next time, where we may or may not be doing something for Halloween, and be sure to uh, be prepared for any sort of frights, because I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be spooky. Just, just a little bit. Alright, see you again next time.